All right, so today's video is going to be just a little bit different. We don't have a clip here today, but we do have uh, a little, a little, a little Twitter war going on here between uh, Jank of the Young Turks and Emma Viglund of Sam Cedar's Majority Report. And uh, I'm just going to say this before I address all of these tweets. Um, I find myself uh, routinely disagreeing with a lot of uh, Jank's tweets. I think that um, he presents himself in a much clearer and better way on the Young Turks program. I really don't think he has a lot of good takes on Twitter. I, I, I don't know why, I, but I, I find myself, again, this is my opinion, routinely disagreeing with a lot of the stuff that he says on Twitter. But he says, left-wing extremists help right-wing so much with an exclamation point. 66% of this country is left-wing, according to polling on policy issues. They don't believe in defunding the police or being called Latinx or calling women burden people or abolishing prisons. Anyone who claims they do is lying. And I I don't know I don't know what the fuck he meant by this tweet, but it's pretty wild. He's sitting there saying that left wing extremism is uh somehow just using certain words or not using certain words like Latinx or birthing people. And it's like when you look at what right wing extremism is, which is literally, again, Trump's own Department of Homeland Security said that white supremacists are the number one domestic threat to the homeland. OK, right wing extremism is genocide. Okay, Michael Knowles saying that the trans, that transgenderism, excuse me, before he sends his lawyers after me, transgenderism must be eradicated. Okay, calling for genocide. Um, just, I, so many terrible things I could name when it comes to right-wing extremism. And Jenk here, <coughs> excuse me, is saying that um, left-wing extremists help the right-wing so much By way of inclusive language. I, I don't even know. To say it's a false equivalency, to say that this is, again, a really bad take, I think is an understatement. Because when you really look back, take a step back and look at what he said, I just, I don't know what the fuck he was thinking, okay? But thank God, thank the Lord, Emma Vigelin responded to Jenk very early on in this tweet. Uh, jumped on very fast and said, isn't your point contradictory? If that number is correct, that means that any aversion to inclusive language is marginal compared to policy sets. What? Yes. I have no notes there. I have nothing to add there because that is the perfect response to what Jenks said. Perfect response. No notes. I, I couldn't have ordered it any better myself. Democrats have been doing well electorally as well. Nobody is making voting decisions based on clumsy activists slash medical language. Emma's 100% right about this, okay? Um, again, when it comes... He even said it in his own tweet. He says 66% of this country is left-wing according to polling on policy, and then he brings up this inclusive language argument, and it's like, you, you did it to yourself. He did this to himself, but again, um, it, this isn't something that needs to be said, but... I'm glad Emma said it. Okay, I'm glad she responded and told and told Jink what he needs to know. Apparently, um, and again, I, I honestly I don't know if he, this is just a bad word to tweet. I don't know what the fuck. But she also said, "What helps the right here is ceding ground to them and not being proactive in reframing the debate around these phrases, which we have to do on behalf of this country's most marginalized groups. If people prefer inclusive language, shouldn't we listen and make the case for them?" And again, much like with her first tweet, I agree 100%. 100% I agree with this, and I think that a lot of this, a lot of this tweet from Jenk here is a result of a tweet that Anna Kasparian uh, put out a few weeks ago. There's 27 million views, 127,000 likes. I am a woman. Please don't ever refer to me as a person with a uterus, a birthing person, or a person who menstruates. How do people not realize how degrading this is? You can support the transgender community without doing this shit. I am not going to give my opinion on this tweet, um, but what I can say is the response, especially from people on the left and people in the transgender community, has been very strong and very mixed regarding this Anna Kasparian tweet. And even Carly Lake down here is, you know, 100, is pretty much saying, you know what, I agree with you, Anna. And I think that, you know, uh, 
this tweet is coming from uh, uh, a need that he feels like he needs to defend his co-host, Anna. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. But even Benjamin Dixon down here came in and said, if left-wing extremism is using pronouns and saying birthing people, but we all know right-wing extremism is calling for genocide, why do the dirty work of drawing a clearly false equivalence for the right? Again, perfect. A perfect response from Benjamin Dixon here of the Benjamin Dixon Morning Program. If you guys uh, have not seen it or haven't checked it out, I definitely recommend you go check it out along with the Majority Report with Sam Cedar. Both great programs. Love them both. But um, uh, someone else said, hey man, why are you doing this? The right is trying to criminalize abortion and eliminate trans people from public. Stay focused on what matters. Uh, Walter Masterson. Again, if you guys haven't seen Walter Masterson's work here on YouTube, go look up Walter Madison. That motherfucker is a a, a comedic genius ahead of his time really um and he said huge divide between liberals and leftists a lot of liberals think support of fried flags makes them abby hoffman um and uh you know again he's this guy's a troll he's an absolute troll but he's 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 one of us he's one of us so i just i needed to include it i absolutely i just i love walter masterson i haven't made videos on him but if you guys haven't seen him you guys should definitely go and check it out but um let me know what you guys think of Jenk's tweet here. Let me know what you think of what Emma, Benjamin, and all of these other people said. If you want to, go check the tweet out, read some of the replies. Let me know what you guys think, please. I love to read all of the comments you guys leave me, but that's going to be it for the video. If you guys like the video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, press that little bell, turn on all notifications so you guys never miss an upload.